Here is a 2001 Impreza 2.5 RS harness that I'm working on here. This is going into a 73 bay window bus. So let's take a look at the connectors that we need to keep before we strip the harness here. We have the ECU connectors, follow it out. One strand goes to the engine connectors here. And this is the O2 sensor. And these are for the Subaru transmission. And this customer is using the Subaru transmission, so we're gonna keep those. Come back here, and we have the wire that goes to the starter solenoid. Follow this around. And we get to the relays here. So we have the main relay, the fuel pump relay, and this is for the uh, heater. This is the blower fan, but I'm gonna repurpose it to the radiator fans. You saw me pick up this guy right here. This is the test mode connector. And I just clipped it because it was in with a whole bunch of other junk we didn't need. And I'll be splicing that in later. We have the OBD2 connector. And this customer eventually is going to go with cruise control. So we're keeping this cruise control ECU here. And uh, this is pretty much going to fall out of the harness. But I just want to keep these wires as long as possible. So that when we eventually get the cruise control working, um, we have nice long wires to work with. The split loom is off. And uh, now we have a bunch of loose wires that we're going to just pull out of the harness. The loose wires are clipped out, and um, this is the cruise control box. It's been clipped out, just a couple connections. Save that for the future. And we have a big uh, bundle here that terminated at the ECU connectors. We'll identify these in the next step. Um, just some random loose wires. Um, one's a fuel pump, one's for the radiator fans. Um, follow it around here we've got a couple from the engine connectors that are loose this is oil pressure switch and the water temperature gauge and there's another one I think it's the California identification um, so I'll have to check the wiring diagram for that and then there's a ground uh, and we have the starter wire here and there are the engine connectors so now I'm gonna start identifying this bundle. Using the pinout sheet that you can find on my website, I was able to uh, identify the ECU connections that uh, didn't go anywhere, that just dead ended here. And I'm um, also able to identify this little brown wire that I was talking about earlier. This is not for the California ID, this is actually the reverse lights. It goes over here. Uh, this guy right here. For the reverse lights, this is the new, um, neutral position switch, and this is the vehicle speed sensor. So what we have now is uh, about five connections to make. Two for the um, for the original blower relay that's actually going to be repurposed for the fans. We have to reconnect the test mode and provide the ground for the um, main ignition relay. All five connections are now made and next up I'm just going to route it as if uh, it was in the bus. Here is how it'll it'll be routed in the bus roughly. ECU mounted underneath the seat along with all the relays and the diagnostics. A uh, couple fuse panels there for the fan relay and um, ignition and battery positive connection. Come down, we have the first leg here. We have the start connection that goes to the starter solenoid. We have the fan connection and the oil pressure and the reverse light. So that's, that's all gonna be right by where the transmission hooks up. Uh, the fan I'll be extending because this isn't terribly long engine bay radiators, so this is going to go to the engine bay. And then we have the uh, connections for the engine. Test mode is connected. 
and you can hear the relays clicking on and off both the fan and the uh, fuel pump and the fan. We have the OBD2 Elm327 reader communicating wirelessly to the OBD Fusion app on the iPad. And we have a little 12 volt battery pack powering this whole thing. So testing the computer. We have the wiring harness grounded. This just these leads basically just go here. And this little test lamp is connected to the fuel pump wire. So anytime the relay clicks on, we're just testing to make sure that the fuel pump is gonna kick on. Here is the harness all wrapped up in the split loom. And we have the relays, OBD2 stuff, um, gauge stuff, and the tank sensors. It's going to get a code killer to replicate these signals from the tank sensors. And this is the alternator wiring. This is basically just going to go to the lug on the starter, the battery lug, and the alternator light. Eventually, it's going to hook up the AC, so there's those wires. So that wraps it up for the 2000, uh, 2001 2.5 RS into the 73 bay window.